good? Y'all it's your boy Bounty back, you know what I'm saying? Hope y'all having a great day. Great night if it's nighttime. Hope y'all smiling. Hope y'all happy. Man, let's hope everything went good for y'all. Now let's dang go live. Today we're gonna be reacting to the greatest team of all time. You know what I'm saying? The San Francisco 49ers. We're gonna be reacting to their opening game of the season. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hey, I don't got too much to say. We're just gonna get straight into it, bro. Come on. Oh yeah, party. Oh yeah, George Kittle. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's go. We back. We back. Come on, bro. We back, bro. And this year we come, bro. I'm telling y'all, we going to this bowl this year, bro. We not finna lose this year, bro. I know last year, yeah, we lost to the Eagles in the playoffs, but but the only reason well, I'm not gonna say the only reason we lost to them, you know what I'm saying? We could have lost fair and square too. I'm just saying, we didn't really have a fair shot at winning because Brock Purdy got hurt immediately. And then we didn't have a quarterback after. I mean, we had Josh Johnson, but that man Josh Johnson came out there. He couldn't even throw a five-yard pass. No disrespect to Josh Johnson, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, you feel me? Like, the man didn't play all year, and then out of nowhere, they just threw him out there on the motherflipping AFC Championship or NFC Championship, bro. Obviously, that's not going to work out, but you know what I'm saying? This year, I can see it, bro. You know what I'm saying? We got a different level of dedication. We got a different level of drive. We got Brock Purdy. At the QB spot, bro. It don't get no more crazy than Brock Purdy. You know what I'm saying? I, I, look, look at that, bro. We got McCaffrey at the running back, bro. We got the we got the blockers going crazy. We got Brandon Ayuk. We got goddamn. Wait, do we still got Debo? I think we still got Debo. We got straight studs on the roster. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. Purdy going play action. Dot back of the end zone. Too easy. Brandon Ayuk wide open, bro. This is just what we do, bro. Mufflers can't get up with it. All right, all right. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. Debo Samuel came into camp in great shape. Dang. See, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I wouldn't let that happen to me, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? And shout out to the cornerback. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to show, throw no shade at you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to you. I understand we all, uh, goddamn, get shooken up sometimes. You feel me? But I'm just saying, like, I, I don't know, bro. Maybe this move, maybe that move was crazier than it than it looked in, 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 on video, bro. Maybe in real life, the move hit way different than this looking on video. But I ain't gonna lie. If a motherfucker starts shuffling his feet like that on me, bro, I'm gonna just be like, bro, you're not even going nowhere, bro. I'm going to just wait until, bro, actually hit the turn, bro. You know what I'm saying? Then again, though, you know what I'm saying? This is like a professional football player, and he got broke. So if he got broke, I probably would have got broke, too. Matter of fact, I probably would have sn snapped my ankle in half and stuff. Like, I'm, I'm not one of them motherfuckers like, oh, bro, I ain't going to lie, bro. That was me, bro. I mean, it feel like it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, though, what you feel like and what would actually happen is different. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that would happen to me, but you know what I'm saying? Uh, it, it probably would. I ain't going to lie. Okay. Can he pick it? Surveying the field. Nope. Dang. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, Kenny Piggy. I don't know about that one, Brody. Four man rush over the middle. Brandon Ayuk is wide open. The touchdown score on the first drive. Bro, honestly, Brandon Ayuk, bro, Brandon Ayuk need to be like a smooth 92 at Madden. And I know they probably gonna make him like an 80. But I'm just saying, like, for the way that this man actually be balling, like, if you really watch San Francisco games, bro, if you really tapped in with us, you would know that Brandon Ayuk should most definitely at least be a 90. He gotta at least be an 88, 87, bro. Not giving Ayuk 87, 88 is crazy. I really give him like a 93, 94. Nah, you know, I might be a little biased, you know what I'm saying? So maybe, maybe that's kind of crazy. Man. I mean, come on, bro. Y'all can snag my boy Lenandi or something, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, Brandon Ayuk is tough, bro. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have us a good year on baby. Dang, that man Kenny Pickett selling. It's all good, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? I understand, bro. You feel me? Like... I feel like nowadays it'd be super hard for quarterbacks, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like quarterbacks will get in the league, you feel me? And then after they get in the league, motherfuckers will automatically expect them to be sweet. Especially if you're one of the top, one of the top recruits, bro. And when they coming out of college, they be like, oh yeah, bro, he gonna come to our team. And then we gonna start going crazy, bro. Then the motherfuckers actually get to the team. Them motherfuckers do not be going crazy, bro. If they have like three off games, then the whole entire fan base be on their back. Like, oh, he suck, bro. Take him out. It's like, dang, bro, y'all motherfuckers don't got no faith in me, and then it just breaks your confidence, but look, bro, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, you gotta understand, like, ain't nothing in life easy, you know what I'm saying, god dang, mowing your lawn ain't easy, cutting bushes ain't easy, uh, being a plumber ain't easy, and, and, and being an NFL quarterback most definitely ain't easy either, but you know what I'm saying, what you do is, you feel me, no matter who you are, how perfect you may think you are, how perfect you may think the person is, everybody make mistakes, you know what I'm saying? Everybody done been through it at some point, bro. You know what I'm saying? Or everybody is going through something. And either everybody has been through something, going through something, or they getting ready to go through something, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, 
when you going through something, you ain't no different from all the other mother flippers, bro. You know what I'm saying? All the other mother flippers that 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 you see out here shining, that, that that's going crazy. You know what I'm saying? In his case, um, goddamn like Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes, all the mother flippers that's going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Throwing them dots, uh, getting them touchdowns, them Super Bowls, all of that, bro. You know what I'm saying? All the mother flippers gonna do it too. You know what I'm saying? Now it's just your time to go through it. You gotta, it's just, it's really just all about how you respond, you know what I'm saying? I got faith in my boy though, Kenny Pickett, bro. I know you can do it, bro, no cap, bro. I know Muslim is probably hating on you right now, saying you trash. Hey, look, bro, like I said, just got that, um, just got, I don't even remember what I was about to say, bro. This man, this man Christian McCaffrey going so crazy, I can't even remember what I was about to say, bro. Like, look at this, bro. Oh, yeah, we going to the bowl this year, bro. It, 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 we a lot, bro. We most definitely a lot. Oh, yeah, Purdy. Oh, yeah, Purdy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I thought we I, I thought we threw a pick for a second. I was like tough. Second and twelve. Back to the air. Purdy look at end zone. Brandon Oh, I I forgot. I forgot about this, bro. I real I forgot about how tough this man Purdy is. By the way, crazy catch by Brandon I do too. Don't get it twisted. I'm just saying, like, this man Purdy real life crazy. Like the the shizzle he be throwing. It's like, bro, is this man really a rookie? Well, he not a rookie no more, but, like, is this man really just getting to the league, bro? Because, like, motherfuckers don't just be throwing shizzle like this, bro. When you first getting in the league, you throwing that safe shizzle, bro. You, you got to get, you, you know what I'm saying, your feet damp in the water before you start throwing some crazy shizzle like this. Purdy was throwing this shizzle, like, off rip, bro. I'm talking about first game. He was letting that thing fly. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it was flying and it was being caught, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that's the same thing that's about to happen this year. You know what I'm saying? My boy Purdy is still undefeated right now. Purdy hasn't taken a loss. You could say, yeah, he lost in the, in the NFC Championship, but not really, bro. He was hurt, bro. I mean, he came back out on the field, but he literally didn't throw a single pass, bro. Because literally, bro, he couldn't throw a pass, bro. His arm was messed up. You feel me? So really, if we being honest, Purdy is actually undefeated right now, bro. I, I ain't going to lie, bro. I think... And maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just goddamn, you know what I'm saying, um, biased, bro, but I, I really do think, and this gonna sound crazy, bro, this gonna sound crazy, you know what I'm saying, I, I, don't flame me, it's just, bro, I really think Purdy got a chance of going down as a legend, you know what I'm saying, because it's just like, bro, look at what he's done already, he just got into the league, this man's still undefeated, bro, he like 13-0 and 0 right now, bro, and he... He, he, he looked like a veteran quarterback, and he just got here. Like, it don't make no sense. And it's not like he just going to deteriorate. He only going to get better. He just started. He ain't lying. Okay. Can he pick it in the pocket? Tough. It's all good, for it. Don't even worry about it. Hey, I ain't going to lie. That man, Kenny Pickett is selling. Hey, this one kind of hard to watch. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> this a little hard to watch. This joint real life hard to watch. That man Kenny Pickett five for nine with nine yards and an interception. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, CMC, CMC. Oh yeah, turn that corner, bro. I, I swear, bro, Christian McCaffrey, bro, he is he, he different, bro. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really. I didn't really know how different he was when he was on Carolina. Because, you know what I'm saying? I keep it a stack, but I'm low-key kind of like a casual NFL fan. You feel me? Like, I, I be watching the 49ers games. Or I'll at least watch the highlights. You know what I'm saying? I'll at least watch the 49ers highlights. But, like, as far as them other teams, bro, I don't really get no flip by no other team for real like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I might watch Kansas City every once in a while because them motherfuckers entertaining or, or the Bills or something. But, like, I don't know, bro. I don't really be watching football like that. You know what I'm saying? So, I never really watched Carolina in the first place to even know if CMC was like that. Like, motherfuckers would say he like that. But I'm like, I mean, bro, Carolina trash, bro. He can't be that tough. Motherfucker got on our team, started putting in straight work, bro. I was like, never mind, bro. Never mind. This man is a straight 99, bro. He might real life be the best running back in the league, bro. Like, the way he be getting active on our squad is crazy. Mm. All right, come on, Kenny Pickett. Okay, they hand it off. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Harris. Okay. All right, I like that. I like that. Good run, good run. That's all right, bro. Shouts out to that boy Najee Harris, bro. Najee Harris be getting active too, bro. Don't get it twisted, bro. I, I, Najee Harris, he he really wanted them ones, bro. He wanted them ones most definitely, bro. Every time I watch the Steelers, he putting in straight work. Like I said, though, I am a casual NFL fan, so I don't watch Steelers that much. But you know what I'm saying? A few times that I do, Najee Harris always going crazy. Tough. 
inside the five. Pick it in zone. Okay. Okay, Kenny Pickett. I see you. I see you, Kenny Pickett. That was the, hey, that, that was tough, bro. See, this is what I mean, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's all about, I, I don't know why I got to add. But like I was saying, bro, it's all about that confidence. You know what I'm saying? Once you got your confidence, you feel me? You, you play with a different swagger. You know what I'm saying? You play with a different, you know what I'm saying? Sense of urgency, sense of, um, God dang, I'm really that mud flipping this. You know what I'm saying? But like when you down on yourself, it's hard to do anything because you just down on yourself. You're just thinking about what you did wrong and everything. If you're going to think about what you did wrong, that's, it, it, it's a blessing and a curse. You know what I'm saying? It could be a blessing because you could think about what you did wrong. Like, I'm never finna do that again. I'm going to be on my grind. I'm going to be on my shizzle from now on. Or you could be like, I can't believe I did that. I'm trash. I'm trash. I'm trash. And the next thing you know, you keep telling yourself you trash. You're going to go out there and be trash. You know what I'm saying? You just got to build from your mistakes, man. Oh, 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 yeah, CMC. Oh, yeah, CMC. Look, look at that point. Look at the strides. Look at the strides. Oh. Bro, nah, I've seen enough, bro. I've most definitely seen enough, you know what I'm saying? Bro, we going to the Super Bowl this year, bro. This most definitely our year, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know what I'm saying? I'm not one of the motherfuckers that just be saying this every year. Oh, actually, maybe I am. Nah, I do be saying this every year, but you know what I'm saying? It's, it's because we really like that, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, realistically, we should have went to the Super Bowl last year. I mean, we ain't go, you feel me? Yeah, all of our quarterbacks got injured and stuff. Eagles fans gonna get up on me and say, um, God dang, you know what I'm saying? They just smacked us, whatever, bro. Eagles fans, say what y'all wanna say. Y'all motherfuckers don't wanna see us this year. Y'all don't wanna see Brock Purdy this year. <laughs> that boy Brock Purdy gonna be slanging that thing on y'all. Um, pause. But you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, we're going to be throwing them dots. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be handing it off to CMC, letting CMC do his thing. Bro, we got the best running back in the league. We got the best young quarterback. In well, best young quarterback might be crazy. I ain't going to lie. Putting him over Patrick Mahomes and Joe Burrow and stuff like that. He going to get there. He going to get there. But, you know, I'm not going to say best best young quarterback in the league. That's crazy, bro. But, you know what I'm saying? We do got the best. We got the best running back in the league. We got one of the best O-lines in the league. I feel like at least. Maybe our O-line tries, but it, it seems like they be putting in work, bro. But I don't know, bro. I think our O-line tough, most definitely. I know our defense crazy. If we don't got the best defense in the league, we definitely got, like, the second best. I'm saying we got the best defense in the league, bro. So it's like, where is our flaw? You know what I'm saying? Like, let me know in the comment section. But, like, am I tripping? Like, what, where is our flaw? Do we really just not have a flaw? Like, I mean, you could say young quarterback, you know what I'm saying, second-year quarterback, but, bro, he done already proved himself. He, like, 14-0 and 0 right now. If you want to say 14-1, and 1, all right, you could give him that one loss, but he couldn't even throw the ball, bro. So it's like, do we really have a weakness right now? Ooh, look at that spin. That's crazy, bro. Dang, look, look at Ayuk. This is another reason. This is another reason why Brandon Ayuk is most definitely a 90 overall, bro. Look at him. Put 23 on the ground, bro. Put 23 on the ground. That's so crazy, bro. Hang on, that boy Adams moving. That boy Adams was moving. That man came all the way from the line, bro. Look at Adams, bro. <laughs> bro, look at Ad bro, Adams was on a mission, bro. That man Adams was, bro, I ain't gonna lie, Adams, you a real one, bro. I would've gave up, bro. That man Adams was on a mission. He almost got, he almost got there too. I can't do nothing but respect that man Adams, bro. Y'all motherfuckers need to make sure y'all resign Adams. Hey, 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 Pittsburgh fans, bro, y'all gotta make sure y'all resign Adams. That man was on a mission, bro. He was not ready to just let him run up out of there. Oh, yeah, Kenny Pickett died. Oh, shoot, okay, 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 okay. I see y'all, I see y'all, I see y'all. Mm. Sorry, Daryl. <laughs> Over the middle, it's uh. Ayuk. Bro, Brandon Ayuk cooking. This 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 Brock Purdy Brandon Ayuk connection just cooking right now, bro. Bro, Purdy Ayuk. I'm about to stop pausing and talking, bro. It, it's nothing that needs to be said at this point, bro. Tough. It's all good, bro. Don't need to worry about it. See, and that's one thing about T.J. Watt, bro. T.J. Watt going to do his thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, these motherfuckers losing 27-7. to 7, But T.J. Watt still got his two sacks in. You feel me? Like, T.J. Watt going to go crazy. It's just, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about the Steelers as a whole going crazy, bro. But T.J. Watt most definitely going to go crazy. You feel me? Brock Purdy really sharp today. Pressure from behind and yeah. sacks. Well, the ball came out. It was Watt that got there again. And he's got the ball. 
Dang. Bro, TJ Watt always going. This is what I mean, bro. TJ Watt most definitely a lock every single game to go crazy, do his thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I, like, I don't know, bro. It's like you can't really do nothing but respect it. You know what I'm saying? Now, I look, look, I know, bro. They losing by 20 points right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? But TJ Watt still putting in work, bro. He pressuring the quarterback every single time, bro. He got three sacks. Just got a sack fumble, bro. Like, I, I can't do nothing but respect that, bro. TJ Watt be going crazy. Hey, look, TJ Watt. If you ever want to come to the 49ers, hey, look, just know that I condone it, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? I support um, you coming to the to the uh, goddamn 49ers, bro. I would love that, bro. You feel me? And if you come over here, bro, you know what I'm saying? God dang, you feel me? You get that sack fumble. Hey, I promise you, I promise you we going to convert, bro. You know what I'm saying? You getting seven on that other end every single time, bro. If you got three sacks, you not going to be down 27 to 7. You finna be up 27 to 7. Matter of fact, you probably be up by like freaking 35 or something, bro. Dang. But look, bro, like this this what I mean though. Like what I was saying about learning from your mistakes and everything. Like, bro, mental toughness really is like a crazy, crazy, crazy important trait to have. Not even just in sports, but like just in life. You know what I'm saying? Cause if you let stuff like I said, if you let stuff get you down, bro, you just gonna stay down. You feel me? Hey, look, bro, you know what I'm saying? Things not always gonna go right. But hey, look, when things go wrong. You just gotta still do your best to keep trying to make them right. You feel me? And if you if you were the reason that something went wrong, you know what I'm saying? If you feel like you did something wrong and you feel me, a negative outcome came out of that, bro. It's okay, bro. You know what I'm saying? Bro, just do right moving forward. You feel me? I mean, everybody make mistakes, bro. And you know what I'm saying? Sometimes when we make mistakes, we don't even know we're making a mistake. We might have did what we thought was the right decision in the moment, but then we look back at it, we like, dang, bro, I effed up. But guess what? Just don't F up again. You know, you you know, you know what it feel like to F up, so just don't F up again. Use that as motivation to not F up moving forward. Use that as most motivation to boss up moving forward. You know what I'm saying? That's just a life lesson, bro. You can apply that to sports, whatever, bro. Anything you're doing. Like I said, just life in general. Tough. Tough. Dang. 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 Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That lateral looked like it might have been. <laughs> I don't know about that lateral, but that man did not look like he was behind him. Oh, yeah, Purdy. Oh, yeah, Purdy. Oh, yeah, turn on them Jets, Purdy. Turn on them Jets, Purdy. Oh, dang, dang, dang. I, 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 Okay, okay, I see you. I see you. All right, y'all, you know what I'm saying? That was the end of this video. You know what I'm saying? We just came through, did our thing. You know what I'm saying? 49ers just doing 49er things, bro. You know what I'm saying? Going crazy, getting active on that defensive side, getting active on that off offensive side. Brock Purdy going crazy. Brandon Ayu going crazy. You know what I'm saying? CMC, Debo Samuel. You know what I'm saying? Fred Warner. Bro, everybody just putting in straight work, bro. And you know what I'm saying? Oh, God named Pittsburgh. Uh, yeah, the motherfuckers look like they down bad and stuff. But you know what I'm saying? It's all good, bro. It's only week one. You feel me? Like, motherfuckers can't get too down right now. You know what I'm saying? It's just all about, like I was saying, that mental toughness, bro. Learn how to, you know what I'm saying, use negative um, experience as, 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 um, god dang, motivation to create more positive experiences. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, don't get down on the negative and then freaking write more negative out of that, bro. Nah, bro, use the negative to god dang, you know what I'm saying, make some positive, bro. You feel me? It's like, it's like, you feel me, you get a negative number, what, like negative 14, you feel me? What you gonna do? Minus that by 14 more. Now you got negative 28. Man, Flip, no, what you got to do is if you got that negative 14, instead of minusing it, minusing it by 14 again, what you going to do is you going to minus it. No, you going to times it by negative 14. And then you going to get that positive number. You know what I'm saying? Or you could minus it, minus negative 14. Huh? Huh? No, no, you could minus it. By negative 14. I mean, that would bring you back to zero. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the times and thing would probably be better. Tough. I don't even know what I'm talking about no more. Okay. But yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? This is your boy Bounty. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Man, I hope y'all have a great day. Great night if it's nighttime. Hope y'all smiling. Hope y'all happy. If not, I hope y'all get to that point. You smiling, you happy for real. Hey, look, like, comment, subscribe. I'm gone.